Ugh. All right, we're back. The game audio has decided to grace us with its presence. OBS has decided it needed a full restart, so it might have been OBS, who is probably the Elgato, but as you can hear those dulcet tones piping through, we're back, we're ready, so let's switch over. Yeah, shall we? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Ah, huh, there we go. Damn. Uh, well, an ominous start, that's for sure. So anyway, what are we going to do considering what we have before us? I think what I want to do is we're going to do this uh, long mission in the Warrens, mostly to get that uh, the Wrathful Band Nana for our Arbalus friends so they can do a little bit more damage. Those might... I'm not sure how I want to want to play this. Now that, now that I have an occultist, my initial plan with the Darkest Dungeon was to send in... Well, first to send in a team with the occultist as a healer, since the description said boss fight. Then the second, run, second and third missions are going to have our dependable healer class, the Vestal, on each one. So we have O-Man and... Uh, Ma yeah, Mach... Macho, macho. One of the many, one of the many lineages of the machos. Uh, so they're going to be set up for Darkest Dungeon missions two and three. I think there's a fourth mission too. So if if that is the case, then at that point, it's going to be a lot of like basically sending in people who have healing moves for themselves or healing or slightly lesser healing moves for, for others like the musketeers the arbalists uh plague doctor the crusader and who else i feel like there's a one oh there there's like the abomination has a heal the the hound master also has a heal so yeah but now that we're gonna get I'm also curious to see if like we're going to get our roster opened up again from a successful Darkest Dungeon run. But that's neither here nor there. Right now, we're just going to kill time on this so that another week ticks over. And hopefully, I can get a final... I would settle for a level 2, but I would really hope for like a level 3. Just any unique to the ones we already have. Like, unique class, that is. Because right now, if we scroll... Well, let's do it by level. So you can see here, we have our new occultist, Pit Enjoyer, who is joined by our latest highwayman, Tingle, and our latest veteran, Leper, Fartree. So all we need is... I would prefer a third... Or I would prefer a vet, but I will settle for a level two... Because then we can put them both, put them on any vet missions that pop up. Two is close enough where they won't lose their minds just going on the mission. And hopefully they'll all stay relatively around each other. So further leveling up to legend won't be an issue. But that's this, that's for later. Right now we're going to send Montbont into the... Oh, hey Mahito, welcome back. Sorry about the technical difficulties. We're gonna send Montbont, our Crusader, out on this first warm-up mission. Uh, he's got my preferred loadout of Smite, Zealous Accusation. All good, all good. Yeah, thanks. You know, it's it's. I guess it's it's long overdue. Got a pretty had a pretty stable run so far in terms of streaming. Like not a lot of major issues. So. I suppose it's at least Elgato related, so it's only a matter of time. I guess it was just due. We were just due to have an Elgato fuck up, but hey, easily sorted. But so yes, yeah, so Montbont has yeah Smite, his his regular sword donk, Holy Lance in case he gets pushed to the back by surprises, 
and inspiring cry so he can keep the torch up for us, heal some stress as well, all that good shit. Even though we're taking a long pre ru ri as it were. But we're not there yet. Oh, also, since this is a long one, camping skills are going to be very important. So we've got Encourage, we've got Unshakable Leader, which is... Actually, I might swap that out for... Yeah, I'm going to swap that out for Zealous Speech. Uh, stand Tall, remove Mortality debuffs, could also be very important. And probably the most important skill, anything that prevents Nighttime Ambush. Which, actually, we're going to be pretty stacked on that, since... Also gave Bobbert that with his bandit sense and clean guns since he's going in. Oh, I forgot. So, Montpont is going in with the holy orders to up his virtue chance, take his stress ding down, give him resistance to the death blow should the worst happen. Add a ding to his resistance for blight and bleed, but the fortifying garlic more than makes up for that. So as you can see, all his resistances are in a comfortable golden yellow. But yes, getting back to Bobbert, speaking of his stuff, he's got the Gunslinger's Buckle for doing all the nice shooties, making them more shooty, and more importantly, more accurate. And I'm also going to, for the first time, take out the Ancestor's Lantern for the, uh, you know, sort of a bulwark against getting surprised and upping the chance that all them monsters will get all up when they see us. And the stress hit isn't even a big deal, because it's just 10%. And more importantly, he has steady lockdown, so he's just doing... He's just have, taking neutral stress now. And of course, to make sure all his shoosties are... He has plenty of shoosty moves. We got his normal pistol shot, his point blank. And to get him up front, we got Duelist Advance, so he also has the riposte action and some bleed damage, because this is the Warrens, and those pigs bleed like, well stuck pigs all right and that's his deal of course he's also got uh oh which quirk is this arm 15 because of a quirk really i don't see that on there because steady is stressed daredevil is plus 15 oh that's weird it's showing the it's showing the benefits. So his true dodge is 30. Hey, Despair from Neon Tragedy. Welcome to the dungeon. I'm going through my mission loadout. That's weird. That shouldn't display. Because that only procs if his HP is, as it says, below 25%. Uh, so, to, to recap, we're going to... A late level champion mission. It's gonna be a long one, so that basically means we get to camp twice if we need it. We're going after the gold. This is not important since we're very late game. And we're going mostly for the Wrathful Bandana so that our Arbalist class has a little damage buff since they usually hang out in position four. Plus the debuff skill. Their, their debuff is pretty damn useful because it fucks with the enemy's aim. And a ding to their healing skills, which hopefully that won't be a problem. So, Montfont, Crusader. He's basically a tank that can do limited, that has limited heals and uh, can also heal your stress. Stress is a big part of this game. If you, if you know nothing about Darkest Dungeon, the biggest thing you can take away from it is stress. Stress is super important. So, managing it is equally as important. And the Crusaders kind of have a nice blend between pretty heavy hits and being able to sort of keep the party from losing their shit. Um, not the, Obviously not the strongest healer by any means, but they're pretty damn good. Plus, while it doesn't say it, although this one actually has it as well, so I wonder if it's... if that stacks. But the Crusaders also have an advantage against unholy enemies, just naturally. So Montbond here has his his passive unholy slayer or uh, damage against unholy just by his class, but he also has unholy slayer. So like if we're fighting basically the spooky scary skeletons in this game, he does a shitload of damage to them and has a higher crit chance. 
But that's their whole deal in a nutshell. And the Highwayman is sort of your jack of all trades. Like he's got great ranged options. He's got some pretty good close range options. He, in addition to, he also has some neat move. He has a status inflicting move with, uh, he can inflict bleed, which is does damage over time. There's like two damage over time options in this game, bleed and blight. Basically, yeah, bleed, pretty self-explanatory. Blight is basically poison. They just renamed Poison to Blight for some reason. Probably because Bleed and Blight sounds nice together. Um, in addition to that, he's got a few other interesting moves. Uh, he's got an AoE Blast for the first three enemies. That's pretty nice because it also comes with a debuff, but it's only a crit chance debuff, so... There are better debuffs, honestly. Um, tracking Shot as well, like, he can ignore Stealth with that shot, which is pretty damn great, and plus... Uh, stealth, like, uh, gives himself a little bit of a buff in the process. I don't really use it that much, but I do use, I've been using Duelist Advance a lot. Moves him up one. He basically just does a stab with no bleed damage, uh, but he activates Repost. And Repost is exactly what it sounds like. If an enemy tries to hit you, you automatically counter them. Now, whether or not you hit them or not, that's for RNGesus to decide. But yeah, really solid class, especially, and this move in particular, point blank, it's very specific, like he can only do it in the front, and he can only hit the front facing enemy, but it deals a fuck ton of damage, and also has a chance to knock the enemy back. So this game also deals very much with positioning, like certain moves you can only do in certain positions, certain moves also can only hit certain positions, that kind of thing. So a, a big thing to sort of keep in mind is that if your party gets shuffled around, do you have any way to get them back into a position where they can do damage or just use their moves? Like the Vestal class kind of becomes, as healers, become completely useless if you move them up front because they just can't do their healy spells from up front. Uh, but that's a lot of info I'm throwing at everyone right now. So let's go on to uh, Bri Ru Ri, our legendary jester. This is the best stress healing class of the game. So like I said, stress is a big part of the game, and managing it is an even bigger part. And the jester does that primarily with Inspiring Tune, which will ding off... 12 base health, it can be obviously buffed or debuffed using uh, trinkets or other stuff, but or and depending on like quirks, it can also be do more or less damage. Pretty standard RPG fare. Uh, but the interesting thing about him is he also can do status with, in this case, a harvest or slice off. He can do also do bleed damage, which is why he's coming with us. The enemies in the warrants are particularly vulnerable to bleed and have slightly higher than average resistance to blight. So bringing people who can inflict bleed can go a long way. That being said, there's always a chance that enemies from other areas of the game may finagle their way into this one. So you never want to spec too hard in one specific category. You always kind of want to have an out. Um, but in addition to that, he's also a character who has uh, movement options. Like the Dirk Stab is good to move him up forward if he gets shuffled around and you want to make him, if he's like in position four, you want to move him to position three, stuff like that. Or more importantly, set him up for his main big attack move, which uh, either, the, like, Solo also does that, but the basically this, Finale, which, as the name implies, you don't really want to do it until you're at the end of the fight, because it does a stupid amount of damage. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love this game, but I can't play it because it makes my OCD burn. It do have a lot of things going on, so, and I have the DLC, all the DLC turned on, like the Crimson Court and the Farmstead, so that's just stacks upon stacks of just fucking, just brain, brain crunching stuff. 
There we go. Ah, retro computers. But yeah, so I guess this then this is uh, redundant. But I will go through how I'm gonna load them out. So Briruri bringing him along, of course, for the stats or for the stress heals. But Dirk Stab, Harvest for the bleed damage. Dirk, Dirk Stab to buff his finale and move him if necessary. Finale because it's finale. And of course, Inspiring Tune because we want to keep that stress in check. In addition, he's going out with the Bright Tambourine. <laughs> the main one is people as a form of resource. Yeah. Oh no, I get I get really attached to my characters. I I made a whole. There's a whole. There's a whole thing on the soundboard that is specifically set up to express the tragedy of losing a beloved character. I mean, I'm also a big fan of XCOM 2. Like, that was actually one of the first, not the first games, but it was a game I streamed last year. One of my favorite games at, by far, even unmodded. I think unmodded is still a very fun experience. But, same deal. I think part of the appeal, too, is the, the drama built in with the permadeath. Although technically it is possible to have a character come back from the dead, it's just a very, very, very slim town event, or town event that has a very slim chance of proccing. And even then, it's almost not worth it because they come back like all their all their moves are set back to to uh, base level. All their gear is gone. They're basically like babes in the woods. Like you need to retrain them and gear them up, which is pretty expensive if you get a if you lose like a legendary character. But yeah, it, it's also part of the appeal. Like, can I keep them alive? There's even an achievement for keeping uh, Dismas and Reynald, your first Crusader and Highwayman, alive to the end of the game. I'm not getting that. They they definitely died. <laughs> They're definitely in the graveyard. At this point, they've probably fully composed. Decomposed, rather. They're not writing songs. But anyhow, to try and keep us from dying from stress or anything, we're going to bring Riru Ri with the bright tambourine so he gets that stress relief as long as the torch is nice and bright. In addition, his stress skills, again, his, his plinging on the loot, or whatever that thing is, does a little bit more stress heals. All that fun stuff. However, he's basically going to be taking neutral stress when the torch is lit, so we got to make sure that torch stays lit, because if it drops below 75, especially in battle, he's going to take plus 25% stress, because I got the Tempting Goblet, which, I mean, look at those buffs. Like, the, the HP, the speed, and the Jesters are already a pretty speedy class, but the dodge, the fucking dodge, like, look at that stat, 60 fucking 3, compare that to, like, 30, 26, and to be fair, and to be fair, like, all these classes, that's above their average, so, yeah, 63, it's gonna take a miracle for anything to hit Briruri. That's saying this is Darkest Dungeon and RNG Jesus is a cheating bastard in this game. And then moving on finally, what party would not be complete, especially if you want them to live, without a Vestal. And she's going to be specced very hard into healing. So got her set up with the Sacred Scroll to buff her healing skills by 33% and then to buff them by an additional 25% with the Tome of Holy Healing. So between all that, keeping everybody alive should be... should be manageable. I don't want to say easy, because this is champion level. Nothing is easy at this point. And let's see. So we have a 30% scouting chance. That's not ideal, but it's, it's okay. And since it's long, we want to load up on food. Oh, no. Nah. Also, since we went into the Darkest Dungeon, that shit's been happening. The UI has decided to go a little eldritch, which is fun. And since I have money to spare, I'm just going to max out on the food. I'll bring max shovels and a lot of torches. Stop that. 
And let's see, what else? They do like to inflict bleed quite a lot, so we'll bring a stack of bandages. We'll bring medicinal herbs to use on things. I'm not going to bring keys this time, since not really going for the treasure. She brings some of these just in case, because the little piglets do like to... do have a chance of inflicting blight. And there's always a chance that, you know, just max it. Just max it. There's always a chance that another enemy could show up that does have blight skills. So, yeah, when I have three slots, that's fine. I suppose I could, since we have the holy water, I could bring a couple of those. Yeah, we'll bring two. Since Montbont brings one along with him from his personal stash. <sighs> and I think we're set. Yeah, we have 24 torches, 36 food, four shovels, all the essentials. The laudanum is nice, especially when you're dealing with enemies that inflict horror, but it's very specific, and at least I haven't really brought any along to see if it... I haven't really tried using it on anything else, except for a few times, and every time, just nothing, so... Although I do wonder if it would work... No, I don't think anything works on the stacks of books. I think you're just... You're just rolling the die no matter what. But yeah, that's it. Uh, we're going to save the Aegis scales for boss fights for obvious reasons. And we're up to 93 pints, I guess, of the blood trademark. Because we have the Vinter set up in the Hamlet. Which is good because there's now four... Four of us are cursed with that Ding Dang blood curse. So they're definitely going to start getting thirsty and going to need them drinks. But for now, we're just going to leave. So with everything out of the way, let's get this show on the road and let's fucking go! 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 Perfect. Oh the god, this is war interesting. Swine, we must first scout the squalid homes. Yeah, let's fucking go. Yo! What up, John? Welcome back. We're gonna start things off with a basic stream. Or basic stream, uh just a basic quest. And then determine, depending on what we get in here, we'll see about We'll see about what we do afterwards. If I get an invite, we'll probably explore the uh, the Countess's courtyard a bit more. Try to basically find our way back to the southwest corner of the map after getting fucking <laughs> to the southeast corner. Or if that just is, doesn't happen, then it's time for mission two of uh, the Dark Dungeon, <laughs> which spooky, scary but maybe not insurmountable. Also, what are these? 50% resolve. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is something cool I've noticed. If you bring along a character who has gone into the darkest dungeon on a mission, all the other characters get extra resolve. And that's kind of cool because it both gives you an incentive to not just ditch your characters who no longer can go into the dungeon and also helps you sort of s speed run the process of leveling up characters to go into the dungeon. All right, all that out of the way, we got at least one scout. Let's see who we're fighting first. All right, nice. Lantern's already doing its thing. And Briru Ri, ah, oh, resistant all around. Very shame. Oh, uh, you know what? I should turn. Yeah, I should definitely, after this battle, turn uh, stun back on. Let's try dealing with you, because you can huck diseases at us. Of course, Montbont isn't going to be able to do anything, so you can. You can completely whiff! <laughs> Yeesh. All right, well, that thing needs to die. The onslaught. Destroy them all. Yeah, Mompon, you got bit, you got good resist on that, so you should be able to be to take at least a few hits before bleeding. That garlic junior is doing its business. A decisive pummeling. 
<laughs> Bobbert, on the other hand, yeah, he, he's going to bleed. He doesn't have those comfy resistances. This might... Okay, that should kill on the next turn. Yeah, let's see. Is a rarity in the fever Four damage per battle. round? Maybe. Especially if this hits. 79%. Come on. Show me your receipts. You know what? I should have moved him up, but that's not bad either. Ah, especially since... As the fiend a dirge dad. A faint hope <laughs> blossoms. Really? The garlic. A full pack often attracts unwanted attention. Okay, Wayne June. I, I'm aware. It's a very strange delivery for him. It sounded almost strained. Which is weird, because I feel like I've heard that one a million times. Maybe that's more of the Darkest Dungeon UI Eldritch nonsense going on. Really, the Garlic Jr. Like, are you talking about the the movie, the Dead Zone movie? Or are you talking about the filler arc between the Frieza saga and the Android, or and the Cell saga? Because the Dead Zone movie is good. It, it, it looks beautiful. Um, should I bother? Oh, wait, yes, this is a buff. The filler arc. Oh, okay. The thing is, it's been so long since I remember it. I remember it's got like weird vampire things and that's about it. Ooh, who should I give this to? I think I should give this to Montfont. He gets a nice buff. Yeah, yeah. 30% damage. Yeah, he's gonna be, if he hits, he's gonna hit hard. I mean, he's going to hit like this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know about the arc itself. It's been a while since I saw the actual arc. I love what DBZA does with it. How they completely cut out the, the actual arc in favor of the very... I don't know, know if you could even call it a B plot. It's like a C or D plot. Like with Krillin's lady troubles. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, I didn't reset her moves. I forgot about that. Oh, but nice. That lantern is paying dividends. Yeah, in the DBZA version of it, like, at the tail end, like, the the after the end credits kind of scene shows, like, Garlic Jr. actually coming back, and then Mr. Popo being the demon eldritch god he is, just swallows them up. And that's how they deal with the Ark. Oh, come the fuck on. What is with you? Well, struck. well, at least someone's doing their shit. Too bad it's the person who does the least amount of damage. Confidence nice. As the enemy Fucking. Ooh, wow. A crusader dodging is a surprising thing. Twice no less. Oh, Bobbert. Bad humors! Oh, what does that entail? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. How quickly the tide turns. Wasting sickness? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, yes. Are you fucking kidding me? Like 65! Max HP. Disease resist. Okay, well, those are at least manageable for now, but goddamn, dude. I'm disappointed. Oh, you know what? I should have gone for the. Oh, wait, he's dead the anyway. Weapon that cuts on its own. Oh, great. And healer is stunned. Hmm. Good. Is broken. Show him the receipt. Alright, how's our stress level looking? Already 18? Oh, because it's low. Yeah. That's right. He... Our, oh, no, it's at 76. You should be fine. 
precision and power. Right, you're outmatched. Huh, uh, let's go for an all around. Okay, who needs a bit of stress shaved off? Oh, it's you, okay. All right, 86, not bad. Good. You should be dodging. Actually, how long is that gonna last? Two more rounds. You'll... You'll be fine. You're still at 45. The ground quakes. Oh, nice, and he saw that, so he did a good. All right, that's how you put down the Schwein. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Yeah, they sure can. Okay, how long? No, how long that buff last? One more round and it's gone. Oh, and what was what was yours? Wasting sickness. Oh wow, your disease resist is at zero. Yeesh. Okay. So we had 90% of the rooms. This is a gigantic map. However, I think we can skip these three rooms at the bottom here and still get everything. So maybe what we'll do is we'll swivel around like this and end here. Yeah, interesting. Interestingly, um, I don't I don't know if anybody watches Totally Not Mark on the Tube channel, but you know, does a lot of Dragon Ball related content. Recently came out with a video where he ranked all the Dragon Ball arcs from the very start with the young Goku leaving his dead grandpa's estate to up to including Super. Not the Granola arc, I think that's what it's called, but everything in between, including GT. And had some interesting opinions on it, but for the most part, I'm like pretty in agreement with what his assessment was. Wealth beyond measure, uh, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Yeah, that's fine. I really, I don't even need the shield, the crests really, except for to get the red hook. And the red hook does, as the description says, does absolutely nothing. It's just for bragging rights. Oh, nice. I'll check that out. Still have never seen GT or any of Super yet. I have also never seen GT just because... It's not the same without Toriyama behind the wheel. Like... And I did watch a little bit of Super, but it's rough. Honestly. Like, the first two... The first two arcs of the show just do a more like drawn out retelling of the of the Battle of Gods movie and the Resurrection F movie which Battle of Gods movie is is okay in terms of DBZ movies and Resurrection F is just wasted potential like it's just kind of garbage but the first few yeah, the first few parts of Super are going to be rough because you're base if you've seen either of those movies, you got to slog through basically the same plot again with um, now improved animation quality, but at the time like if you've ever seen the like the shitty like I'm doing a terrible job at pick visualizing it, but the shitty Super Saiyan Goku turning around face, like that Super is where that meme originated. And, I don't know, I gave up on it because it was just, it was just boring and kind of weird. Like, the whole thing with, like, Beerus seemed interesting, but then just, like, I got, as more and more of the, the plot went out, it was just like, oh, you're, okay. Like, we, first we had Kami, God of Earth. Then we had... Um, oh, what's the what's the demon dude in the in the afterlife that sits at the desk of mahogany? 
Like, then we have that guy, and he's sort of like the lord of the underworld. And then you find out, oh, there's then there's King Kai, who's above all of them. And then, like, you find out that, oh, no, King Kai is one of several Kais. And there's a Supreme Kai above him. And then there's another Kai above him. So it's just like, the afterlife is just a bureaucratic nightmare in Dragon Ball. And, like, by the time you get to Super, you literally have, like, an Omni verse Kai and then you have another Kai from another Omniverse and it's just like mmm like the power creep is so ridiculously real it hurts and that's just for me that just was a big turn off like because it starts off strong with Battle of Gods in it's not so much a power creep as it is it's a new type of power uh, for the characters to learn. So it's like, okay, that's an interesting way to sidestep the power creep. Just have it be a new form of power. Of course, they don't really do much with it, because it's not like you see any of the non Saiyan characters really doing much with that. It's just... It, it's pretty much just Goku, Vegeta, they get super god forms. Literated. Nice. Yeah, every, yeah, they get super god forms, and everyone else is sort of reg relegated to spectators. As sadly is kind of tradition, starting with, like, I guess starting in the Frieza saga, with a little bit of pushback in the Cell saga when Gohan becomes the strongest. But, yeah, the Buu saga is just all Saiyans all the time. Everyone else is just spectating. So it's a, it's a bit of a bummer, that... Let's see, should we attack? Yeah, any bit of damage on you, because you have that really mean attack. Ooh, sweet dodge. So yeah, that's my Dragon Ball rant. Super, kind of not worth it. Unless you have a subscription to Crunchyroll or whatever it's on. Yeah, you're, you're not missing much. Uh... Really? Only eight? Ouch. Mm. Alright, this time I'm gonna give Bobber to heal. We're gonna, we're gonna try and keep our troops alive. And a little bit more there, Mont Bond. Oh, wow, that was a lot. That was a big hit. Yeah, you know what? I mean, yeah. Uh, we do have the super manga, so it's cheap as free to read it. I would recommend it as well. I, I will say this. The... I always forget. Mangaku? I think that's the term for manga artist and writer. It's not Toriyama. So Toriyama basically just provides the outline and some character designs. And then the other guy, I can't remember his name does like the nitty-gritty work okay you need to die because now you can't do your stupid boar rush thing repulsed okay big heal 16 is a pretty decent heal and so yeah another thing that like mark points out is that one of the great things about toriyama especially like peak toriyama in dragon ball is his paneling, especially with fights, is just immaculate. Like, reading the... Like, reading Toriyama's Dragon Ball... Unnerved. Oh, that's Unbalanced. not great. That's not great at all. It, it's just so... It's just absolutely awesome to read his work. And not to mention, like... In addition, like, the fights have a story weight behind them, so it doesn't just feel like it kind of starts to feel in, like, in, like, GT, and even the Boo Saga, where it's just fighting for the sake of fighting, where, like, the fight... Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. The fight isn't really a comment on the... Or it, the fight and the conflict are not... 
are not one and the same. Like, that's kind of the nice thing about, like, a lot of his early fights is, especially the big fights, like Goku and Vegeta, Goku versus Frieza, etc. Like, the fights are also basically an argument with fists. It's two different brands of thought clashing. And that's great. It's like, it really leads the white, or really gives the fight some weight to it and some meaning to it. Whereas like a lot of the, a lot of the later fights, like especially in the Boo arc, which is all over the place, it's kind of a mess in my opinion. The fights seem to be more for like cool action piece, but really don't tie that strongly into, okay, who is my best disarmer? It's a Bobbert. Good job, Bobbert. You earned that stress heal. Also, get back into position two. And how are we looking? We're at five and seven. Single digits, not bad, not bad. Okay, so it looks pretty clear from here. But yeah, so... I guess I would suggest not raiding super after coming off of of uh, Z or well, I suppose it's just, it was just Dragon Ball in Japan, but it's Z and Z over here. Because like you will instantly notice like, or actually you probably won't like, you probably won't immediately notice it, but you'll just feel like something is off, like something just doesn't pace well. And that's probably what that is. Oh, boring. Oh shit, you know what? I have holy water. Can I backtrack without? Nope. Okay. Oh, just gold. Oh, and a torch. All right, so three, three. Oh yes, have a, have a little snack. Don't question where the food comes from, Bobbert. We splashed some holy water on it, so it's fine. Okay, what's our torch at? 63? That's unacceptable. Yeah, because I, I read, like, the first... The first manga volume, and... Honestly, it kind of just slid right off. It was just like, oh, okay. Like, didn't really think about it beyond when I finished it. Oh, shit. Okay, well, nice dodge, at least. Also, nothing chiding from the ancestor. Surprising. He loves doing that. Ooh, no scouting. We're going into the dark on this one. 89. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Oh, great, the bloodsuckers. But hey, the lantern is paying off. And this might be, and this is why we brought the, this is why we brought anti-venom, because shit like this. Aw, oh, Bobber, that was not a lot of damage. I didn't reset her moves. All right, well, you can hit in the back, so hit in the back. Alright, uh, we blood gathering. Ah, uh, no dodge. Okay, I'm okay. That's a blip, but that's also a dodge. Oosh. Alright, bleed in a debuff. I believe that's a. hurts their chance. Alright, alright, alright. Damn that one. That one is really resistant. Bobber, you need to do more here. Ah, god damn it. Oh. It is bound to happen. But damn it. Hate that it happened. Especially considering, all right, what is your debuff? Also bleed resist. Hmm. 
Yeah, none of that, please. Wow, Montbont. Way to drop the ball. Okay, it's on me. I should check the percentages. I keep doing that. You still got the debuff, though? Ah, it's annoying. Bringing ears. Blurred vision. Okay. That's not good. Oh, no. That's not good at all. Jesus, Bobbert. And that's our last debuff. Well, shit. Oh, you fucking asshole. Perched at the very precipice that's not good. That's really not good. Well, at least that time you hit. Ah, God, that sucks. Ah, oh, you can't do that. Okay, well, you can heal his stress. Alright, yeah. Let's have Bobbert be able to take more than one hit. A singular strike. Hmm. A righteous blur. Well, shit. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Yeah, none of your sass, Ancestor. <sighs> and we didn't even get an invite. The light, the promise of Because they didn't have any of the little Oh shit, I don't like him. I mean, we're gonna need the surprise though. Especially since Bri Ru Ri just ruined it. Ugh, and I don't have anybody who can really move them around. All right, yeah, just, we just gotta do damage. Well, at least Bobbert's immune to diseases now. Oh God, that sucks. And the hook, surprisingly dodged. Very nimble, very doggish. Ooh, that's a good dodge. That's a very good. That's a very good dodge. Ha uh, ha ha. Oh, you're in. Uh. Ri ru ri, bri ru ri. What are you doing? Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. <sighs> Jesus Grievous fuck, Bobbert. Why? Everybody's going after Bobbert. Jesus fuck. Oh, that that's fabulous. Masterfully executed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, okay, finally some dodging going on here. Huh. My friend, you shall not fall today. Thank you. Oh, just kill it. Nope! Ah. Oh good, too. That was excellent use of that heal mechanic. Exposed to a killing blow. God damn, Bobber, can you get a kill? Oh boy. Fucking good. Good dodge. Oh my lord. Okay, an old man's not looking too hot herself. Okay, one pig down. Alright, big stress heals. Good stress heals. Oh my gosh! The full dodge package. Could have gotten more for yourself, but I'll take that. I'll take that as well! Fucking beautiful. Not so beautiful. Damn, nothing but debuffs on him. Finally. That guy's an asshole. 
I don't know if you knew that, but he is. Okay, he's so got four, 12, 12. Oh, all 12s. Well. I'm going with Bobber because he's going to take extra stress. Everybody else would just take average amounts of stress. Not to mention, yeah, <laughs> Montbont can do himself. Damn, why do I even give you that trinket? Okay, so from here, let's go. Yes. Ooh, okay, inspiring cry for ye. Nimbly dodged. And from here, give him the lightning. Oof. What a tussle. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, it sure do. Okay, that's going to disappear in one round. Not that I can do anything about it anyway. Oh, really? Ah. Uh. Okay, well, stress-wise, we're fine. So, I'm going to push on. And that's wasted. Granted, we don't really need this shit. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Ancestor, it was only a torch. I used it as soon as I found it. Hmm. Oh, you know what I just realized? And I have to do a weird, like, kind of... Okay, we gotta kind of go up around like that and then go back this way. So, all right. Well, we know we got a room, a safe room up ahead, so I think this is where we're gonna camp for the first time. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Really loves that factoid. Okay, yeah. Camping round number one. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. All right, so... Who has... Oh, did I not put it on you? Can I change that? Can I change that right now? That would be... Let's see. Nope, I can't change it now. Well, piss. Oh, here we go. Removes mortality debuffs. Remain vigilant, my friend. Uh-huh. Actually, now that we're... There we go. I'll just switch that. Now we have a blood-cursed party member. We gotta do the proper voice. Okay, that gets rid of stress. Don't really need that one. So, yes. Bandit's sense. With my ear to the road, none shall surprise us. Okay, so we don't need to worry about nighttime ambushes. Hooray for that. Okay, and you just got stress stuff. Uh, yeah, clean your guns. That barely picks up. That's funny as hell. I can feel my heart. It pumps strong. Things are going according to plan. Blessed are we that no fear has overtaken us. Well, at least we won't go hungry. The way is lit. The path is clear. <laughs> it's lit. We require only the strength to follow it. All right, what are we at? 94. Oh. Also, let me remember to finally switch this off and put the Razzle Dazzle back on. Ooh, ooh. Luckily, we're getting all the surprises. The lantern plus the campfire buff. 
It's our saving grace. Hmm. That's more like it. Annihilated. Yes. And got the stun. Oh, well, okay then. Uh, yeah, you can do a little damage. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Oh, yes. Montbont with a beautiful dodge. You're outmatched. Seize this momentum. Meh. Push on to the task's end. Alright, that's good enough. Man, it's nice having those mortality debuffs on, because this is actually something I didn't even notice until pretty recently, that I, I just figured that that was, I should have known better, that that wasn't just a symbol saying, oh, this person has been on death's door, it's actually a debuff. I just never bothered to, like, look at this stuff for the longest time. It's honestly surprising that I haven't, this run hasn't been scrapped considering that kind of shit. Ooh, another chance! Oh no, I, I don't have any. I don't have any herbs left. Any medicinal herbs? Okay, we don't know what's in here, so let's go in, in fully torched. May we find victory. Got nothing. We're not going with that room. Who cares? Ah, rats. That could have been worse, I suppose. Damn it, Bobbert. Stop taking the stress. Alright. Hello, hello. Uh oh, yes. Oh. Helps to push the button. Alright, 8189. That's my boy. There we go. Show me a receipt. It's from CVS. Oh damn! I didn't see that dingus back there. A devastating blow. All right. Nice on the crit. And here comes a cribble. Them. Well, someone's dodge actually paid off. A death by inches. Oh god! I hate that. I hate the grave. What are they called again? No, no, no. Tell me, tell me what they are. Oh, I need to actually hit something first. Okay then. The flesh eater. Yeah, I hate their that their attack is just they prolapse their toothy anus. Like that's the only thing it looks like to me. Just a prolapsed, tooth-filled anus. Oh no, spitting on it. Riru Ri says no. Oh shit, he moved. Oh, Bobbert. Disappointing. Actually, read them your receipt. Oh, you dodgy son of a bitch. Okay, what is Bobbert at stress-wise? Four. You can roll with four. I think we might want to queue up a finale. Well, that's rude. Then again, it might not be necessary. It was not necessary. Unforeseen. Well, okay, don't need any of those resources, so just take the pittance of gold. It's silly, but it's worth it. And pretty much got the whole area mapped out. Pretty nice. All right. Well, it's really just three rooms, so there's a cure up there. If I just 
take this path. We don't even need to fight anything. So we're just gonna camp again. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Hmm. Yeah. With my ear to the road, none shall surprise us. That's good, sweetie. Ooh, accuracy buff. Yes, please. Lose not your grip on the dreams of the past. You must fight just to keep them alive. No idea what the cadence of that song is. I'm pretty sure all of his ones are... Because all of his de-stress moves are names of, like, hair metal songs, more or less. Or, like, monster ballads. So I, I believe he also, like, hums a few bars afterwards as his flavor text. Which is like, oh, okay, that's pretty cute. And yeah, I'm not gonna try the whistle again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. I feel strong and powerful. Let us carry on. It looks bad, but there is nothing to fear here. We are as healthy and mentally steeled for this challenge. We are we are out of firewood. We must steel ourselves for a push to the end. Yeah. More importantly, now we have room for stuff. And the crate is empty. Oh no. But this should be it. We should only have these rooms to go and then we can leave. We can be about our business. I have nothing I can use on this. So not gonna try. Also, let's, just to avoid any excessive stress. Yeah, that's cool and all, but uh, we're going this way. All right, good job, Bobbert. Bobbert, as my voice cracks. And this should be it, which is kind of a shame. It's not it. Uh-oh, I miscalculated. Well, okay, we can go down here and that should be it. So at least we're on a direct path. Okay, what's the food at? Oh, plenty. We could fart around here for days. Not that I'm going to. We won't get out of here as fast as possible. Get onto the meat of the stream. I'd love to give y'all a shot to get rid of some of that stress, but nah. Just, just no. <laughs> Alright, this should be it. 90%, that's 90%, right? There we go. Alright, we're... We're out of here. The first thing comes to see a little less impossible. Oof. Alright, bit of a roller coaster there. And not a lot of stuff. Yeah, but at least we got that bandana. Yeah, nobody leveled up because everyone's at max. Oh, let's see. Hot to try. What did that replace? Beast Slayer? Aw. I mean, okay. That That's a good first round move. That's one I have locked down in the past. Replace Daredevil? Okay. Okay, you're gonna touch anything godly. Bleed resist. I'll take that. And whatever your disease was. I think it was wasting sickness. Oh, man will only drink in town. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we gotta get scurvy taken off. No amount of scrubbing can remove the stains of such fearsome piety. The abbot will not comment on the condition of the penance hall at this time, except to say that he expects normal operations to be resumed shortly. Uh. So you know what that means. Someone was getting fucking really freaky in the penance hall. Really, really freaky. All right, let's see. Control alt, alt got rid of his bad humors. Torque no longer has dipsomania. And, all right, Velcro has early riser. 
Bert got nocturnal removed, and a bunch of people are thirsting. Well, now Bobbert's gonna be thirsting too. Oop, not that. No, not that. Right, yeah. We don't want you to have the scurvy. And you have wasting sickness. Yeah, because unlike the curse, diseases stack. And boy, that's not fun to deal with. Oh, also, I, I always forget to do this. Oh yeah, that's gross. You can just see the blood trailing off. Yeah, that, that is not nice. Okay, so... All right, so, oh man, I can't remove anything. Oh, macho, you're my, okay. Okay, so you're a little faster, that's good. Natural is garbage, and oof, gonna see those numbers turn around real fast. Let's see, we'll only flagellate for stress relief. Good thing you are zero stress. Obsessed with killing, you're a sex pervert, great. Okay. Oh, actually, first stop, it's a couch. Not only is it not a veteran, it's... It's another cultist. <sighs> Ridiculous. Anything good in here? Ah, the cheers charm. I have that. I should have one of those. Ugh, I should start playing the elevator music when I'm scrolling through the... Yeah, okay, I do have two of those. Now that I'm at a point in the game where I can afford stuff from the Nomad Wagon, I'm like, ooh, ooh, maybe that, maybe that. Dodge if HP above 75. Ooh, big dodge ding if it's below, though. Oof. Interesting, though. Interesting trade-off. Nothing else really peaking fancy. And I don't have enough Crimble Bimbles to shop at the Crimble Bimble store. Well, all right, then. We didn't get any more invitations, so... Oh, yeah, okay, so... Did I push back or did he you know what it, it, it's whatever okay and I'm gonna take Monpon off too mostly because he's a little stressed and again he has a healing move because if worse comes to worse and I have to send in a party without an occultist or a vestal I basically just want to send in a party that each character has either the ability to heal themselves or to heal others so that Everyone can do some healing, some kind of healing. <sighs> All right, so now what is the team, though? Let's see, so Briru Ri won't be joining us. He's busy. Vosk is also Crimson Cursed. <sighs> uh, now I wish I'd looked this up. Because what are the odds that the Fanatic will follow us into the Darkest Dungeon? Because I know he won't follow us into the Courtyard, and he won't follow us into a boss fight mission. But I don't know about the Darkest Dungeon. And going in there without a stress healer just seems very bad. Maybe, I mean, it's not an ideal stress healer, but maybe Velcro. Velcro has very few, yeah, all he has is a town negative quirk. He has early riser, so he's a little faster with, well, five from uh, glacial three. And he does a little bit more damage altogether. And he, get, he gets fast on the first round at least. Oof. Well, all right. Torque, why do you still have stress? Oh, you only have one stress, that's fine. And what do you have? Accuracy, that's excellent. 
from the Corvid from fighting. I can't remember if she went on the first or second Shrieker mission, but yeah, either way, that's very good to have on you. Okay, so maybe you will be position that, or maybe it'd be better if you were in position that and Velcro is in position two. Because that way you can do Iron Swan. Yeah, that gives you more options, plus bleed out. And let's see, anything else? Plus, we will get the, actually I should make sure to put on, since we do get two camping opportunities, we definitely want Zealous Vigil on. Yeah, yeah, definitely want that Mortality debuff on if the last mission was anything to go by. Okay, so that's, that's Velcro, that's Torque. Which means need to put on... Where is my lady? There is my lady. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly. Sugar. Baby. Okay, so you're a healer. You're our only blood-cursed character, so that means ye old fanatic will not pop in to give us an even worse time. And you're only crimson-cursed, so you're not wasting or craving. That's probably going to change as soon as we get in there, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, God. She just said she yearns for adventure. Well, I think I heard a digit on the monkey's paw curl in. Yeah, you're going to regret that, girl. You are really going to regret that. So from here, though, who to bring? So we have our healer. We have kind of a stress healer. Not the best, but at least he can heal anybody. In addition to that, he also provides more torchlight, so that's going to be useful for keeping his speed up, I think. I think he had early riser. No, that's someone else who has early riser. That's Mont that's Montbont, not Velcro. <sighs> Maybe other Al. Because do you have a self-heal? Uh, no, you can cure your own blight and bleed. That's it. Ooh, and you would dovetail well with Torque's bleed abilities. And you would have poison darts. That means you would have we'd have some blight skills. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's bring on Other Al. Vengeance Dire. That's a new one. Alright, that's pretty badass. I feel like that would also be the name of, like, a hard rock band. Like, you, you know the kind, you know the kind I'm talking about, like your fucking Black Label Society garbage, that kind of thing. Like, like we're Vengeance Dire, and we're from Murfreesboro, Alabama. Yeah. Other than that, it's kind of a cool name, but would be a pretty corny band name. Now, what to equip you with? We're definitely going to be up to our ear bows. Ear bows? Our elbows. In... Ooh, accuracy buff too? Yes, please. Yeah, we're definitely going to be in the thick of it in terms of Eldritch. So I think it's time to finally bust out that crucifix. <sighs> Dings your HP, though. 61, you only have 46. That might be better suited on Velcro. He just has more HP. Yeah, 20%. What does that ding you to? 37? I am not comfortable at 37. <laughs> That's true in real life, too. I was not comfortable at 37. <sighs> okay, so what to give ye? I think we're just going to go with a stress beat debuff. Just because if the first venture into the darkest dungeon is anything to go by, we're probably going to hit some stress checks. Like, I'm actually surprised at how few we got the 
how lucky we got on the first attempt. And it's mostly because we went in with our virtue chance buffed by 15%. So, whoosh. All right, what am I forgetting here? Okay, so you're all kitted out. Velcro, okay, other Al, I know you're gonna get your Crimson Court set because, yes. Anything to give you an extra advantage, even though it's just a extra to your overall crit chance, but your dodge is up, your accuracy with your melee skills are up. You just basically just pick to the ax or pick to the face. And your blight stuff is also up. Gotta love that blight stuff. That might come in pretty handy. Oh, you know what? This is an attack. But Throne Dagger, yeah, this just synergizes better with the group. So, okay. Basically, she has Pick to the Face, do an extra damage if it's really needed. Hopefully it won't be. And Macho, you know what you get because you're our primary healer. The Vestal Special, even though it really dings her HP. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, at least you take a little less stress, too. So that just leaves you, my dude. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, less stress, death blow resist. Those are both going to be pretty damn important. And since you can deal, you're going to get, yeah, the Eldritch Crucifix. Because you're still at a pretty decent 49. <sighs> Alrighty. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but we're going in. Oh, really? <sighs> oh, oh, okay. I, okay. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Because I only have three of them, which means someone's gonna get someone's gonna get the short end of that particular stick. Ah, oh boy! Oh boy! 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 I didn't realize that's how that worked. Fuck me. don't know who to I don't know who I'm not going to I don't know who I can't give it to honestly Shit dude I only have 3 of them why would you do that Why darkest dungeon that's so evil I guess I guess I guess Macho can have one Oh, where the fuck even are they? I think I skipped right past it. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so that's one. So here's the thing. She's my only grave robber. Uh, so I don't want to lose her. Ah, uh, jeez. This is fucking... This is fucked. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, what is... What is your HP ding? What's that from? Trinket. Oh, okay, I see it now. Okay, okay. <sighs> and I guess... Oh, you... D okay, you don't need this. And you're my only Hel Helion, so... Helion, whatever. <sighs> so I guess it's Velcro who's gonna be... 
who's gonna be in the hot seat. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, still embark. We gotta do this sometime. Okay, hand of glory. The left hand of some malefactor who died in the gallows. Made into a candle with the man's own fat. Disgusting. <laughs> I got this. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm gonna need it. Because, oh boy. Like, I'm just, I'm just really, now I'm just really worried about Velcro. Like, I don't want, I don't want my, anybody to not come back. Stop doing that. All right, and the torches. And we need the blood TM for, yeah, three should be plenty. Yeah, we need the blood TM for our Crimson Cursed Vestal. <sighs> okay, we already have shovels in the slot. I don't know if we're even gonna need them. Stop doing that. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't even have room for anything else. I can't even get rid of his... Can I get rid of this? I would like to just get rid of this. Fuck, I can't get rid of it. God damn it, Montbont. Now... Yeah, I can't take medicinal herbs because you brought one... You were so adamant on bringing one holy water. I don't even know if I need shovels, but I also don't want to be without them. <sighs> and I don't want to go without that much food. God damn this shit. Ah. Montbont, if we lose, I'm blaming you. <laughs> for not being able to bring medicinal herbs. All right. Hello, RNA666. Welcome to the beginning of what is sure to be a very stressful experience. We're taking our second foray into the actual darkest dungeon. We have to do a three thing mission. It's a long mission. Shit's gonna go down. It's gonna be wild. Let's get fucking the thing going. Has no name. Oh. For it needs no language. <laughs> Nevertheless, those who would submit to its word this will are rewarded in a fashion. The creature's blessings are as repulsive as they are robust. Twisted half-human monstrosities stalk the flesh-ridden halls, protecting their gestating god. <laughs> They're just protecting. Wayne June really chewed that line. Okay, well, oh great. This is gonna be fun. Totally know what you're talking about. Ah, you've been here before then. Okay, well, uh, so in terms of backseating, unless I ask for it, uh, don't, don't try and guide me or anything. If, if I fuck up and fail, I own that, but I do want to do it for myself. So, you know what? Left hand back. Let's take the left hand path. Made flesh. Oh! It crawls steadily upward from the pit, supported by the lattice of cyclopean pillars. <laughs> All right, fake backseating, nice. I mean, yeah. No backseat, yeah. Unless asked for. If I get really stuck, then that's another thing. Entombed reference? What, uh, Wayne Jew, the ancestor's speech? Probably. I mean, if ever there was going to be a fucking death metal reference, it would be in the stage that literally looks like... Personified. Yeah, things have gotten a little more fucky since we were here last. Because if I remember correctly, last time we were here, there wasn't flesh crawling everywhere. Alright, 81. Do it, Velcro. Impressive. Alright. I banish thee. Ooh, is this even gonna 72, 72, 47? Yeah, stun the raver. We don't want the raver raving. Grievous injury, palpable fear. 
Oof. Well, that is off to a nasty start. They already be critting. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I will staunch the flow. I will staunch your flow. In fact, I just... Let's see. Are you hurting them with words? Do they have wor word phobia? No, I'm showing them my receipts. And they really don't like that. Like, Velcro basically has a fucking CVS receipt in his back pocket. And for as much eldritch horror as this game throws at us, there's nothing more horrific than a CVS receipt just with the improbable length. It's like, I just ordered, I just bought a candy bar. Why is it infinitely long? <laughs> Get him away from me! No, he, he's on our side for now. Ooh, okay, take back your stress. Maintain the offensive. All right, what are we dealing with here? I think you need a heal. Raver's gonna rave. <laughs> I guard you. All right, let's take care of that blood and uh, get to blight. <laughs> Is he? Oh yeah, he's having the time. He's having the time of his life. As the fiend falls, well, he was. Now he's dead. Alright, Montbont. That was pretty piss poor, Montbont. Ah, uh, gotta love the tentacle priest. It's like... It's like... Godly in the streets, hentai in the sheets. <laughs> Pardon my reach. Press this advantage. There you go, Mont Bond. No quarter. Oof. Taking out all his schlongs, like he's pretty much nothing but schlong. <laughs> he's basically the tenta the hentai monster. As the light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted. It's like, and kick him in the dick! Which clear. one? E everything! All of them! Oh, jeez. Oh, gotta love long missions. Alright. How's our torch? 88. That's acceptable. Oh my god, we made it to the door. Right, 89. Fine. Ah, oh, good. It's the... Okay, other Al. Not having a good day. Good resist on that, though. Oh, God. It's the bone dick. Nobody likes the bone dick. Okay. Well, one of them got that. Receipt guy, attack! Yes. <laughs> you paid how much for a Snickers bar? What can I say? I was hungry. <laughs> okay, iron that swan. Ooh, they're re- oh, okay. If I fall, don't put themselves. me in the ground. Sky burial. I get that. You know, I'm a hunter of hunter in Bloodborne, so I get that. Oh, woof. Not being able to unbuff or get rid of a debuff. Ah, nasty. Like, oh god, you're so nasty. Okay, okay, all right. Not liking how this is shaking out. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Sky burial. I got an idea. Let's let's go blow them up. All right, we'll fucking do that. My leg. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Show me your receipt. Everything runs red. Everything do run red. Even the music is getting in on the action. 
Oh boy. Dodge maybe? Nah, that's asking too much. Oh boy! Other Al. Other Al's at death's door. Macho, get her off death's door. Big time get her off death's door. And now Torque is the problem. Yikes. Yeah. Oh no. The Razzle Dazzle. Oh god, and no receipt showing this round. Ooh boy. Okay, fuck! No! 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 Holy fuck. That really sucks. Oh my god. Oh, that's bad. All right, well, at least we got the de the devil blessing us. Although six is also on the low end of that shit. This, and we haven't even reached one thing yet. Continually onslaught. Destroy. Oh, this is gonna be tough. This, this might be a bad wipe. And now, like, if we retreat, we're gonna, it's only two people are gonna make it back. So, shit's going down hill. <laughs> Define thing. Uh, like a cosa in Spanish, in Espanol. That's really not a definition, that's just a different way to say it. This expedition at least promises success. Does it? Does it? Oh, no, I actually wanted to, hold on. Okay, so you go there, you go, yeah, at least I'll give Mont, bon, or Velcro his best chance. I feel like bringing shovels is pointless. I'm probably gonna regret this, but I do wanna keep his trinkets if, if we make it back. <laughs> Wait, too late. If it was a bad move, it's a bad move. Wait, receipt? I don't know what you mean. Uh, okay. Actually, what's our torch at? Not too bright. Three of us, not so great. One of us with a mortality debuff. Oh, that's new! That Those are all new. Venomous Phlegm. Oh, le lovely dodge. Okay. Yeah, we're going full on. That shit's horrifying. You want to sacrifice the receipt? Uh, no. I sac. What did I sacrifice? I sacrificed shovels. Okay. Ah, I see. Well, at least bringing anti venom wasn't pointless. Oh, here's Revelation. Oh, okay. That's why we needed the thing. Uh, because I don't know what I need for these, like, to be perfectly honest. So I just came as prepared as possible. Like, the first one didn't, but this one was a different type of mission, so, like, I had no idea if it was just going to be a different thing each time. Now I'm starting to think that, oh, did it just fucking... It just farted at us. Also, we're doing, we're still doing the, the devil's work, at least. <laughs> it clears shit. Like, if there's barriers or stuff in the way, that gets rid of them. Also, see, stun, blight, bleed. Oh, great. Well, too bad our bleeder died. <laughs> yeah, these debuffs are basically doing nothing. All right, keep whacking at it. You still got the Eldritch damage modifier. It depends on the level, like in, like in the ruins, it's just like fallen, like, it's like just fallen blocks of like concrete. In, in the cove, it's like a shipwreck. In the weald, it's like, giant uh, giant weeds and shit. So it depends depending on the level, but basically if you use a shovel, uh, 
You just clear it with minimal loss to your... Oh, that's actually perfect. Kind of. Uh, just AoE again. Okay, well, that's why we needed that. Okay, 22, that's good. But, so, yeah. Oh, fuck you and your crit. And that's on death's door. Fucking goddammit. How does it work? Yes. Yeah. What terrible strength. This is no oh, for fuck's for sake! Are you kidding me? Jesus, God, no. No. Well... No. Well, we are getting absolutely no. fucked on this mission. Oh, good, yeah, she really needed the crit more than you. Mm. Uh, oh, good dodges. Well, fuck this. Two out of four. It's actually going to be only one person is going to make it back. Cool. Or nobody's going to make it back. It's looking like nobody. Because they aren't hitting a damn thing. That did zero damage. I'm kind of surprised. Because with the Darkest Dungeon missions, you if you retreat, someone has to stay behind in order... The story reason is to fend off the Eldritch Horrors uh, to cover your retreat. But yeah, so gameplay-wise, if you retreat, you have to leave somebody behind. It's... This is like the end, this is end game, real fucking big boy trouser shit. All right, well that at least did damage. Oh, okay, just come on and slam and welcome to the jam. And you are not gonna be able to do shit. Okay, this is getting real fucked. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I absolutely hate it. That's a goddamn mini boss! <gasps> Woohoo! Okay, slim chance. That one keeps passing, which is disturbing. God damn it, Other Al, you have one move. Oh, don't re resist, yes. Injury and despondence set the stage. Oh boy, okay. Or cowardice. All right, get yourself out of Death's Door. That's a bad door to be in. And you're right back in. Ooh, good to dodge. Good dodge. One of you is not going to make it, so good dodge. Oh, that's shitty. Goddamn, Mother Al, you need to be hitting. Because... Macho just died. I'm gonna lose all that, all those trinkets. The soundboard helps me cope. Well, do her jolly well fucked now. I don't think she can do this alone. But you know what? We can't retreat, there's no point. She can't cover her own trail. She can't cover her own retreat, so... I don't know, just try to take him out, I guess? Yeah, you're fucked. You, my dear, are also fucked. I didn't have any room for the copium, unfortunately. Our, our packs were full. Yeah, that doesn't hurt, at least. Your giant goat eyeball. It's also slightly yonic. Yeah, do I even have anything that could at least give you a buff? No, nah. And you can't eat during battle. Precision and power. Well, that's something. Suggest nope. Alright, yep, that's it. That's <laughs> that's Do not Long, and this is really 
Is there better emotes for the chat box? Nah, all I got is whatever Twitch has, sadly. Ain't no affiliate, so do not have that luxury. Uh, I guess to try and ignore what just happened there. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And all those sweet, sexy trinkets lost. Not what you mean? Some better TTV emotes for the chat box bottom left. Ah, uh, I'm not quite sure. Better TTV is a oh is an extension. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Well, sorry, yeah, sorry. We just basic bitches out here. Uh, I'll I'll have to look into that though. Let me get that enabled. Let's see. Oh, actually got some people back. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Oh, here we go. Better TTV settings. Uh, well, I can't see it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I can only pick one, though? Okay, who is in here? Wait, they're... What? I... Uh, I mean, okay. A sister of battle. I can only choose one. Alright, well, I guess the game decided to throw me a bone there. I at least got my Vestal back, although now she needs to get reinvested. And... You got tone deaf, really? Tone deaf. Well, at least she's no longer blood cursed. Oh boy. Okay, well, yeah, you need all my favorite skills back up. Which means I'm glad I have the money to invest. And what was the other one? Judgment. Okay, and on to the smithy with ye. <sighs> okay, well, Macho is back, I guess. Uh, damn, that really fucking sucks, though. I lost all my good trinkets. Okay, well, actually, you know what? Hmm. I'm gonna go sleep as it is 2 a.m. Oh, good lord, yeah. Fuck, I usually only stay up around 1 p.m. at the latest these days, because I have the old. So, I totally get it. If you need to sleep, go get yourself a good night's sleep. But thank you for, thank you for hanging around and watching the peaks and the valleys of the darkest dungeon. Uh, 4 a.m. is doable. Ah, uh, yeah, there was a time. Sadly, that time for me has passed. But anyway, take care of yourself. Have a good sleep. And I'll see you around the bend. Well, look at this bone throwing. Now it's like, oh, here's a bunch of vets. I was here one time because I followed you too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I do. I do remember because you know six six six. But yeah, I appreciate you showing back up. Okay, so, well, okay, no, don't need the antiquarian, so I guess we're going with, yeah, that and a man-at-arms. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. Yes, now what do I have to deal with? Okay, so good news. I mean, kind of good news. Have a full roster now. So now these guys can bring Pit Enjoyer on a mission. Of course, they all need to be renamed because... Oh, no, they don't all need to be renamed. Just Corbett and Makhel. 
Oh, I could do mock mock. I, I know what you're gonna be, mock health. Let's see, you are going to be Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of the E. Oops. You're going to be another matcha. As is semi-tradition. And what have you been saddled with? Natural swing! Ooh, accuracy, that's gonna be good. Damage versus human. I want to say some of the Darkest Dungeon enemies count as human, like the Ravers and like the the endgame version of the Cultists. Ooh, and he has Eldritch Hater. Oh man, I got he's getting all of these locked down. Or at least Natural Swing and Eldritch Hater. Will only meditate is tone deaf. And we got a code blue. He wants to fuck, he wants to fuck the dead. Wonderful. Let's see. Everything else is not too shabby, though. Bleed resist needs to come off at some point, but I think... Okay, so what do we have mission-wise? We have one vet. And for a... Oh! Charm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's the, ber that's the face for the berserk charm? Just... Oh! I mean, I guess beware the cute ones. Speed, damage, stress, ouch, accuracy, fuck that. This would have been good early game, but later game, late game, no, that's terrible. <laughs> that's absolutely awful. <sighs> okay, so yeah, we're not taking that mission. Which means Macho can get a head start and get some of his stuff locked down, so let's get that accuracy locked down. What about you others? Let's see, death, boat, death blow resist, considering what happened, would be pretty useful. Backtracker is whatever, gifted is whatever, manic for money, that's bad. Ooh, fading, that, well, I don't even know if I want to use this guy. I might get rid of Corbett, in all honesty. I don't, I have a bleed dealer, so, yeah, you know what, sorry Corbett, you're, I guess there's a reason I didn't decide to rename you. Send this one to journey elsewhere. For we have need of sterner stock. Yeah. Move resist. Range skills? Pretty good. And beast slayer. Let's see. You're a klepto, though. Klepto needs to come off. And I can't have you fucking around with trinkets. Shit shackles? Really? Yes, really. All right, you already have Luminous, which is excellent, and everything else is kind of garbage. That, though, scientific, I might want to take that off. Mm. Yeah. If they're not going out, we might as well give them the, the treatment. Leather strap, why the leather straps? <laughs> you know why. It's hot. I mean, the temperature lately, can you believe it? Hmm. Yeah, Pit Enjoyer doesn't have much, so okay, that's fine. All right. It is. Yeah, let's try and retrieve some of our trinkets, because we got a horrid shrinker, shrinker, shrieker, one of those. So we want to do as much damage as possible. So we're gonna bring Bert, so he can do the doggy biscuit thing. Oh, don't, uh, don't do that. You know what? We could bring any blood cursed people because as long as they aren't they aren't wasting, it's fine. Oh God. All that's because of disease, though. Shit. Uh, let's see. Does anybody have accuracy mods? You do, but you're not really useful for this fight. Might use you. Okay, and you can hit anything one or two. Uh, I need people who can hit everywhere. So maybe, you do have an accuracy mod as well, so that's useful. Hmm. Okay, I think for, for ye, we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do Marshmallow. Huh. 
Who else? I'm not gonna be able to target anybody, so we can't get the bounty hunters thing going. Howard. Wait, where's Kurt? Did I lose Kurt? Oh no, Kurt's right there. Okay, yeah, so the thing with the Shrieker is it's all about da doing damage as fast as possible. So, we want to bring people who can hit hard and, oh man, please stop. Please stop doing that. I know you're, you're next to a formerly dead person, so I get it, but can you not? Hmm. God damn, that's so fucking freaky. Maybe Macho. Okay, because you have faded, so it missed into a hit. And let's see. You do have wielded. Oh, that's stress, though. Stress isn't going to be a big deal here. So, yeah, Macho. Uh, you might need to be in spot four for your trinkets, though. Let's see. Okay, doke. Okay, crit versus marked. Yeah, I don't have anybody to mark though. That's the issue. Accuracy crit and your dodge takes a ding. Mm -hmm. Healing spills, spills healing skills and crit chance. Oh. Weird. We got back our... Okay, I guess the Talisman of the Flames are like the boss trinkets. Like, you cannot lose them. But you can sell them, which is strange. I guess... I guess if you want to be a supreme dingbat... Uh... Oh, yes, I should put you in position three, then. Although you already have an accuracy mod. But still. Okay, so you're going in. Let me swap you around four okay where uh, yeah, yeah thank you UI I get it we have the demons okay so there we go Ooh, who's gonna be in front though maybe one of these gals let's see photomania that's whatever I don't think we need to bring torchlight Ah, speed and dodge, and accuracy. Okay, aerial font, you made the cut. Now, let's see. We don't need to bother with impale, but... Adler's kiss, however. Yes. And then captivate. Can do either way. And let's take off serpent sway for puncture. Or does that... Do we even need puncture? Uh, I guess we don't need puncture, so... Yeah, fuck it. I'll go with a defensive option. Or... No, we won't need expose either. Although, speed down... Actually, actually speed down would be useful. And that would also take us back. Hmm. Yeah, because if we can lower the the crow's speed, then we can do more damage before sh she, he, they, it does damage. This stupid Shrieka. Okay, so with that out of the way, you get your Crimson Court set because it's just so good. Yeah, that's real nice. Granted, now she has her other trinkets back. Okay, those skills don't matter, because this is the textbook definition of a short mission. It is ridiculous how short this mission is. Okay, Marshy, Marshy, Marshy. You knew what you get. You get the buckles. The Mr. Buckles. Shots come out of your gun, a Mr. Buckles. Do -do 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 -do. 
Okay, what would be good? If I have a speedy thing, that would be ideal. Melee damage, perhaps. Accuracy range skills. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh god, your speed though. Why is your speed so stupid? Because you've been sitting around for a while. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, huh. and Bert. So the damage, bleed skill chance. Yeah, throw that collar on. Uh, that's useless. <laughs> Stun skill chance, not going to need it. Speed, dodge, could need it. Uh, 12 dodge, don't want to ding your damage. We need to do a lot of damage fast. Let's see, what did this ding your healing skills received? Okay. So we could mitigate some of that. Actually, we could mitigate all of that. Yeah, sure. All right, and Ma Chow. Let's see, accuracy, speed, stress, fin four, you are in the fourth. God damn it, why does it always scroll all the way back up? So we could make sure you really don't miss a shot. Uh, or, 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 or. Get up your dodge. Could really up your dodge and really hurt your stress. Accuracy mod even more. Speed, damage, and stress. Yes. Mostly for the damage. Actually, let me see if I have a better damage modifier. More damage. Ding to the speed, though. And not that much more damage. Fanatic, Bloodsuckers, Death's Door, Crimson Curse stuff. I'm surprised I haven't needed this. I was expecting to need this in the Darkest Dungeon. I feel that's where we're going to get... But maybe this is just because all that is in here, the stone, are the gargoyles. I feel like this was not worth getting. <laughs> it is a beast. It is a beast. That's a pretty hit, heavy dodge hit, though. Let's see. Speed, dodge, stun, move, resist. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll take that over the stress hit. Oh my god, every fucking time. Because, yeah, 15% damage, and the speed is nice, but honestly... I don't think we're going to be that speedy. That's going to make a big difference. And this is a beastie. And it might actually count as Eldritch, too. So, yeah, Macho might be able to do a lot of damage against the Shrieker. All right, so everybody is loaded up. Let's see, everybody got their skills the way I like them. You got your Pristal Shot, you got your Pont Blanc. You got your Advance, you got your Open Vein. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And let's just make sure you can do all this from three. Yes. Yes. And would Cry Havoc be necessary? No, I'm going to try and... Well, I'll... I'll put that on and we'll go back out just to... No, not, not here. Stress is surprisingly the one thing I don't need to worry about yet. Okay. So now that's maxed up. I think we're good. So we're going in with Aerial Font with her Crimson Court set. We're going in with Marshmallow with the buckles to up, basically just up the shit out of his ranged attacks with both the da, 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 with both the Gunslinger's buckle and the Ancestor's pistol. Then we got Bert coming in here with the spiked collar for the damage up and. The crew, the crew Bell's Trophy to resist moving and to actually have a chance at healing. Although we don't have a dedicated healer, so... <laughs> well, this is also going to be a spicy one. But he also has Beast Hater, which should come in handy when dealing damage to you-know-who. 
And then we got Machao. Not with the with the Crimson Court set, but with the Beast Slayer's ring. Because Shrieker should be considered a beast, and if it's not, well, fuck me. <laughs> but at the very least, the Prophet's Eye for the accuracy buff and the speed buff and the stress as well, since she's staying in the back. And additionally, Faded is going to help out her chance to hit the thing a lot. Eldritch Hater should give her an extra damage boost. And Hot to Trot, too. That's going to be good for a round uh, boss fight where you really need to do speed shit fast. Can't retreat from this quest. I don't plan on it. Okay. I know, but can I at least, like, just ditch it? I wish there was a way I could ditch it. Like, nah, that does nothing. All right, well. And the torches don't even give a buff, but I am gonna bring a bunch of these. Just to, actually, let's just bring all of them, fuck it. If we don't need them, they just come back. And if we need them, well, then we need them. And I guess we'll, yeah, buffs all around. Bring the Laudanum too, just in case. Uh, the Crimble Bimbles. Nah, we'll leave the Shard Dust. All right, so you know the deal. It's this the Shrieker, it's a quickie. Let's fucking go! 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 All right, all right. Kaka, indeed, you dick. The blood all right. Quickens. Let's see, Eldritch and Beast. That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> Kaka! That's a big stress. Okay, Expose is gonna move her back. I don't wanna move her back yet, so. Strike hard. And strike fast. 35. That's a big kaboom. That's a good kaboom. All right, well, we prepared for this. I'm sorry. Are you fucking joking? I can't, I can't believe this. Let's see, well, yeah. Might as well give you some stink. You don't want some stink, though. Under That's a nasty crit. Unbalanced. That's a big nasty crit. Okay, can you still hit? You can still hit, though. Da 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 da. Nasty. Oh, and that's a permanent debuff. That's not the kind of debuff we like. Okay, are you still, yeah, you still got the buff. And they got the bleed. Maybe a dodge? Nope, that's another crit. For the slightest oh. concentration. Get dead, kid. Their cursed Oof. champion falls. Well, okay, not bad. And for any of those wondering, that's how you kill the Shrieker. Oh, beautiful. Wait, how do I, do I have six of them now? Ringo. <gasps> I mean, that's big. Oh, but I only got one of the Crimson Court set, but I did get the Crucifix back. So that's pretty neato. I might do another round if they're, well, their stress is pretty icky. Okay, so we have Gothic. Cool. That'll be good when uh, Pit Enjoyer is is feeling better. Oh, and you're germaphobe. Ooh, Early Riser is good though. Disease resist is also not bad. COVID resist or COVID Corvid's resistance. The family of ravens and crows and such. That would be time, crazy if it gave you, you three extra. I know, right? Of my failings. Well, let's just find out <laughs> if that's the case. 
Do I hear a... No. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's hot shit. I'm sorry. That's some... That's some poor programming there. Like... Like, they came back automatically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bogus. Very bogus. I mean, I'm glad I got this back, but, like... Because I prioritized the Talisman of the Flame, that means I missed out on the... Oh, no, I didn't. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ignore everything I said. I forgot that she only went in with uh, with half her trinket set. So never mind. I'm an idiot. We're good. Donk me on the head for that one. And... Actually, might have gotten back. Yes, so now I have two sacred scrolls again. Okay, I think we got everything back. Oh. Oh, holy fuck. Wild shit. And Ariel font is showing some weird shit. That's great. That's nice. All right, your stress is at nine. Oh, also, everybody turn in your gear. At the end of the mission, everybody needs to turn in their gear. Okay, well, Machao, you did excellent. Do you have a preference? We'll only drink. Fair enough. Drink to your heart's content, but not too long. I might need you for another Shrieker run. And Bert, what's your stress at? Ten. That should be taken care of. Although, I kind of want to lock down... Well, disease resist is... I wonder if disease resist counts the the Crimson Curse. Because that would be good. But then again, I suppose just locking down or getting rid of germaphobe would also be pretty good. Yeah, okay, Bert, get germaphobe taken off first. <laughs> why the leather straps? <laughs> That's why. Okay, Ariel Font, you're at nine, and you're pretty good. You, I don't want to lock down anything else you have. Tuckered out is not great, but it's also not a huge loss. Let's see, Ruins Tactician, Gothic. Well, at least you didn't replace anything good. Oh, you know what, first things first, let's see what missions we have. Oh, the Kala Shrieker. I forgot you can fight them at any level. Okay, so we still have the old one, but we also have a short, which would probably get us some invites. So I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna go with that. We're gonna try and gather some blood, TM. So that means Ariel Font, Marshmallow, you're out. Okay. Oh, actually, first things first. Let me see if there's anybody cool in the stagecoach. No, just a worse flagellant. Well, all right, I guess we have our team then. Okay. So, all right, so Fart Tree, you need to go in the front. Let me check your stuff. You got Stress Eater, you got Luminous Lockdown, which is oh so good. Okay, Macho got Natural Swing locked down. I really want to lock down Eldritch Hater and Mankind Hater, but oh, also he has a lot of a lot of problems. Like the corpse one, that might be an issue. There's definitely corpses in the Crimson Court, but but it is what it is. All right, and Tingle, what do you have? You have Balanced, Natural Eye, great. That's Range Skills, Beast Slayer. The Bloodsuckers might count Half Beast. Oh, and you're curious, so you're gonna touch any books or bookshelves. And Kofobe, okay, so you are fine to go as well. So you're gonna go in slot two. Uh, that just leaves, how do we wanna play our Vet at Arms? He can do Rampart, he can do Bellow. Command and bolster. 
I might want to play him as the the support character. Yeah, yeah, because we can give him this shield, which gives him a lot of good stuff. And yeah, pretty much no downsides, aside from it being very site-specific. Let's see. That's, let's see, move still is done, nah. Blight resist, disease resist, to dodge, no. Stun resist, move resist, but dodge up. Maybe we should go for something not class specific. Like, oh, there's a position four. Speed, stress. Accuracy is gonna be a huge deal, but the speed and the stress is nice. Although, is there a dodge one? If I have a thing that can up your dodge with no major penalties, I'll take that. Let's see. I mean, that's always good to just up your resistances. Uh, let's see. What attack does Mad at Arms have in, in position four? Okay, so here's the thing. He has no attacks. So let's go through his list of attacks. So Crush, he has to be in two or one. Rampart, he has to be in three, two, or one. Bellow is not an attack. Although originally, it did do a bit of chip damage, but uh, Crit or Red Hook Studios noticed that people were basically using it to just debuff the shit out of out of the out of enemies to the point where they pretty much could not get a move in edgewise and like even even the bellow like could kill so they they removed it because it was just so silly uh and yeah and none of these all these are support skills so actually it's good you mentioned that because we need to definitely take those off i'm gonna take defender on and we're going to put on bolster target. So yeah, in position four, the man at arms becomes a complete commander. Like he is support staff through and through, but his support stuff is really good. Like, Especially when you're using them all in tandem with each other. Like, uh, I like to start off with a bolster because it's a party wide plus eight to everyone's dodge skill, plus the street stress debuff or yeah, the stress um, reduction. Although I think that's just to him. I don't think that's party wise. Although I should double check that. Uh, and then, like, as things start to get, if things are going well, then he can just bellow and he'll basically just be debuffing the shit out of the, the enemy the whole time. If someone needs it, switch on uh, Defender, because with, with the party already, his dodge already up high, and this gives him a buff to his protection as well. So basically, like, if someone, you know, it's the guard ability. If someone's guarding a character, anyone who attacks the guarded character attacks the character that's guarding them instead. In this case, he takes a huge damage reduction, like 26%, that's pretty decent. But with the Guardian Shield equipped, the protection, his base protection is up even higher. Like you can, well you can't see there because it's position based, but it is 10%, just as long as he's in position four. He gets extra, it gets 150% healing essentially which, come to think of it, I don't think I have a healer. Oh no, yeah, Pit Enjoyer. He's our healer. Uh, so he he gets more healing when he needs it, and his dodge is also up an extra, extra plus 10. So he's harder to hit, he takes less damage when he gets hit, and when he needs to, he gets more heals from a healer. So it's a very fun and interesting way to play it. I've done it a few times, and it does it does work really well, even even in the later game. Almost, actually, almost especially in the in the later game, 
uh, because sometimes like keeping your damage dealers from getting from getting hit uh, and like focusing all the damage on one character goes a huge way to making to managing everyone's uh, HP because like I'm going in with an underleveled occultist they can only heal one person at a time so if Macho has guard equipped then there's a like it goes from like a 25% chance chance that someone is going to hit him to a 50% chance that he is going to get hit so it reduces the amount of people who get hurt so it makes it easier to heal because you only have to in theory you have are going to be healing just one person more often. And considering that the occultists heal, well, a bit of a gamble, and certainly can be disastrous and do more harm than good, when it hits, it hits. It hits real nice. Okay, so anyway, back to the task at hand. Okay, so we don't need any Crimson Curse stuff. Yet. But we do need... So basically anything that reduces damage. Oh, like this right here, uh, the tough ring. Although, ooh, it does come with a stress, a stress hit. Well, it's a short mission. We'll come back to the tough ring. Let's see, brawler's gloves. We don't need damage. Although, what is that? Oh, it's in position one. That does make sense. Damage, Eldritch. Oh, I have another one of those. I think I like the crucifix over that, though. Speed and dodge. Dodge would be better. That would take him up to uh, 38 instead of 28. Damage for human. We don't do low light runs. Could also up his healing received even more, so really double down on that. Uh, no, not accuracy. Stress is whatever. Protection dodge, oh, but also a stress ding. I mean, this is a better this is a better option in my opinion than that, because you don't need to worry about managing light. Maybe something in the humble, like down here. Move resist and protection. Oh, but that speed hit. He's already pretty glacial. Ooh. You know what? I think we'll take the stress hit. Like I said, the damage thing to the over there is a lie. He isn't going to be doing any damage. Not with this loadout. However, he is going to be pretty tanky. Yeah, 10%, 20% there. And, and then, you know, if he has guard equipped, that's an extra 26. So he's looking at a 46% protection buff at maximum, and a 20% just resting, and a 10% if he gets shuffled around, which hopefully that won't happen. Okay, and yes, Pit Enjoyer, you're going here. Do I want you to do... Well, that's Eldritch, but it also gives you more hits. Oh, you know what? Maybe we go with Hands from the Abyss as well. Oh, but you have to be in position two to do that. Because this is a good one. This would be a good one to use on, especially early Crimson Corp missions, since uh, Torchlight doesn't come into play, so any of your light-based trinkets aren't going to work. But on the flip side of that, any of your moves that lower light are also going to still work, but just not take that ding to your light levels because there's no light to level. But yeah, you can only do that in two, so I guess we'll stick with this. Weakening Curse is pretty good. Vulnerability Hex, in my opinion, is a must. Uh, especially considering the damage, the dodge ding. Although, at Veteran, it's not as big a deal. Um... And I'm not bringing anyone who has the target tri Oh no, I haven't set anyone up with a target trinket yet. Yeah, so actually... That might do well. 
Let's see, which one is target trinket? That's accuracy. Torch? No, it's, oh, it's wolf's thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll throw that on Fartree. Then, what else should we give Fartree? What is he lowest on? Bleed resist. You know what? Yeah, so how about... Oh, God, went all the way to the top. Let's see. Less stress, not bad. Crit and speed, less healing received. Ooh. I mean, he is a tank, though, so... Yeah, yeah, let's up your speed, make you less of a mighty glacier. I mean, with Luminous locked down, you're average in speed, which is a feat for this class. Okay, so that just leaves Tingle and Pit Enjoyer. Okay, do I have anything that ups your healing abilities? More damage, more stress, nah. Uh, stun skill chance and debuff skill chance. More stress, though. Hmm. Yeah, well, you're a primary healer, so I need to give you stuff that lets you heal. I think I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any occultist-specific trinkets for that, so you're going to get the cheer charm in one of your spots. And you can't double down on trinkets. Like, you can't have two Chirgis charms. Believe me, I've tried. The game goes, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, see? We got that, that nasty little X there. Okay, so what would be good to put on our guy? Maybe a damage... Maybe something that ups his damage or debuff skills. Let's see. Debuff skill chance, move skill chance. Dings your HP. That's not good. Oh, no, not that. I'm gonna take more stress, though. I don't want to take more stress. Maybe a boss, a boss thing. Let's see, plus two speed, 10% damage, range skills, and crit chance range skills. Actually, you know what, yeah. I think, yeah, we got your, we got your slappies on, so that makes sense. Nice. Okay, so that's Pit Enjoyer. That just leaves Tingle. Or Tingle, if you prefer. All right, yeah, we'll set him up with his buckles. And then what? He's not in position two. A disease resist wouldn't be bad for here, although I don't know how much it matters when it comes to the Crimson Curse. Also, this goddamn hair. Hold on. Ooh. Ah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's so much better. That's so annoying. My hair is always extra frizzy on, on shampoo and condition day. And it just means everything is misbehaving. Okay, so what would be good for ye? Oh, that's Crimson Curse only. Bleed resist wouldn't be bad for here. That's for damn sure. Huh. Okay, what's your lowest resistance, though? Disease. You know what? I don't know if it'll counteract the curse, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Where was it? It was... Where the hell did it go? Did I already put it on somebody? I think I already put it on somebody. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah, we'll go with that. 70% disease resist. Will it matter? Will the Crimson Curse just ignore the disease stat? I don't know, but we'll find out. Okay, so everybody's equipped. Not the ideal crew to send on this, but it is a short mission, so... So hopefully we will prevail. At least time this time we have a reason to bring... Stop doing that! Let's see, yeah, we'll bring three hunger checks. 
dropping our debuffs, dropping our brandages. All of them, please. All of those, please. Bring the keys. We'll bring some of those. Oh wait, oh yes, this these do act as a buff in the court, so it is useful to bring them, as well as they can interact with curios and traps. So yeah, definitely bring torches, even though there's no light. Uh, oh, and shovels. Always bring shovels. And nobody's cursed yet, so we are all set, so let's fucking go! 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 Oh yeah. All right, and we just need to find three of the wine TM, or not the wine TM, three of the blood trademark. So let's go find that blood. And maybe some invites. We do need the invites to continue on with the Countess. Oh God. All right, right off the bat be an extra mean. Huh. Oh, that marks you as a target. <laughs> I misread that. Nicely critted. Okay. Uh, not weakening curse. Vulnerability. Or? Okay, Slappy's only gonna hit in the back, so yeah. A devastating blow. All right. Start this off right. Oh, yes. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Even better. Okay. All right. Beast, Fuck that ghoul. Oh, really? All you can do is that? Oh, yes, because, yeah. Okay. You know what, that gets you a Rapaz set up. I'm cool with that. Okay, your stress is at 11, hey? Now it's at eight. So uncivilized. Oh no! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you, dick. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at you. I'm gonna go all. All right, not too shabby. All right, that is a that. Oh yeah, there's no tor I didn't even torch up too. I could have torched up. Um, all right. What are the odds that they're gonna leave one of them things in here? I'd say pretty high. You know what? Every time I interact with those, bad shit happens, so I'm not gonna do it. It's just not in the cards. It's not in the heart of the cards. Why is that the second time I've done a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? Oh. That was literally just a time waster. And a stress builder, come to think of it. And fuck you. You suck. Oh. Hmm. Fuck it. We need the invites. This is one of the things we came here for. And none of them? Aw, oh, man. Well, at least I got surprised. Ah. Should have just focused. Good thing Tingle's got that point blank on lock. A time to perform beyond, beyond one's, one's limits. limits. A powerful blow. Yes, another fool for the fire. Ah, direct hit. Haha, -ha, but a nimble dodge from Fartree.
Ah, no crit. No debuff either. Oh, you have that on. Interesting. Oh, that's why you don't have. Yeah, okay. Haha! Their formation is broken. Oh, I love a good repose. Okay, first things first. I need to. Didn't realize you had that on. There we go. That's my loadout. All right, everybody. Here we go again. Oh, ghouls! Ah, uh, fuck you. Ooh! Nice! Didn't even have the benefit. Executed with Very good, Fartree. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's. Yes, that is stress for everybody! That's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 41. Right where it hurts. A singular strike. Nice. With all these crits, <laughs> he's managing his stress surprisingly well. Yeah, might as well make him a softer boy. Nah, could have done more there, bub. You also should have done more there. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna yell at him. <laughs> of course, he's gonna go now, no matter what. Oh, direct hit to pit enjoyer. That's a big stress hit and a stun. Mm. Oh, you would have gone too. The victory. Did you see that pit enjoyer? No. Point. Uh, shame. Scouting chance is not happening. All right. Ah, oh, fuck you. That such missteps are the exception and not the rule. Rude, very rude. Also, hunger. Not hunger check, but I'll risk. I'll risk a full hunger check to get our squishiest party member up to snuff. Also, I should probably start using these because that lasts for. Three, oh, three rounds. Never mind. That was stupid. Ah, oh, that was a bit stupid. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Riches. That was not worth. That was not a good exchange. Not by anybody's metrics. All right. Again, nothing. Just lovely, nasty artwork. And no, no invites yet. None of those little bastards have been skittering around. It's very annoying. Oh, can I use this? No, okay. Well, now I know. Keys are useless. It's only shovels. All right, uh, don't need you. Are you fucking joking? Ah, oh, I didn't even see it. Will find Man. No <laughs> dodge it? Nope. No dodge. Why dodge? Okay, at least far trees hitting. Press this advantage. All right, Tingle's also no hitting. Quarter. I never miss. And if you're wondering, in my head cannon, the Highwayman has old snake's voice like classic david hater like just yeah but more even more grizzled okay well you could have done a little bit of a, a crit maybe okay okay we're doing all right give everyone a good buff Guess a weakening curse. There we go, a crit. Executed. Everyone likes that. Continue the onslaught. And gotta love a good. And we will. Oh, cool. I can just leave that behind. Haven't even found any of the wine that we need to schlep back. Spiders. No spiders. 
Uh, they are kind of hard to hit, so yeah, let's do that buff first. Fuck Christ, Fartree. Well, at least you dodged back. Impressive. Nice! More critting. We enjoy a good crit. It controls our stress. As does the temporary buff. Haha! -ha. Spit on him. Damn, and the debuff. Get Another dead, kid. Cleansed from Didn't our see lands. that coming, did you? Oh, fuck's Here's sake with the crit. Vision. The end and he got stunned, so he's gonna be useless. Fuck a duck. All right, well, he doesn't need to be useful then. But still, I am disappointed. I'm a tad disappointed. Because Pit Enjoyer seems to be not enjoying the pit. And that's kind of his whole deal. All right, what loot we got? Nice. I do need some more bandages, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, let's, oh wait, I can combine that. Yeah, you get over here. <laughs> perfect. I mean, perfect. All right, and clear that shit. Without taking a huge stress hit. All right, and is this indeed a battle? Oh no, it's a quest location, but it could have a battle. They never say. If okay. only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Yeah, and if I could save time in a bottle, I don't know the rest of those lyrics. Uh, what should we ditch, though? I suppose we'll ditch this. Technically, we don't need to bring the blood back. We just need to find the curios. But eh, we might as well. You might. We might need it. All right, and right off the bat, we're gonna... Nobody with an invite. Ooh, but... Got him surprised. All right, Tingle, you could have done a little more there. All right, decent bar tree. Pretty decent. And here we go. That's a blood gather. Eh, going after the... Oh, God. Those dodges are not crocking anymore. That's not ideal. Oh, no! My mighty glacier is cursed. Hmm. Okay, at this point, I'm going to defend the squishy. Could have done a bit more there, Boone. God damn, everybody's going after Fartree. What the fuck? Hmm. Aw, oh, man. Everything runs red. Including. Ah. Uh... Ooh. There we go. Nice and close. One? You fucking dolt. Hmm. Oh, I should have I should have done repost. Oh, he's dead. Slowly. Gently. Yeah. Rotten hell, you shit stain. Damn, though. I don't want to use a whole hunger check just on them. Wealth beyond measure. 
Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I suppose we already have enough loot, so yeah, buy a key. Okay, and that should be the last quest location. Which is good, because I'm running a little over time here. But we'll keep going. Alright, this should... Nice. He needed that. He really needed that. And unfortunately, I would... Actually, no, it wouldn't have mattered so much for Fartree. I don't think his stress is that high. Alright, well, those are only curios. Here we are. We got our last thingy. Packs laden with, with loot, loot are often, are often low, low on, on supplies. supplies. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever. Well, we didn't even need the hunger check. So I guess we might as well send everybody back with better health. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. How did we do? How did we do? Uh, that's a decent haul, considering no antiquarian and short mission. Really getting them crushed up, though. Alright, and what do we end up with? Okay, everybody's still threes. That's great. Let's see. How did you get Cove Adventurer from being in the... You know what? Whatever. Oh, natural eye. Useless on Macho. Ooh, but he dodge. Dodge up. Mr. Piccolo would approve of that. And at least nobody got a negative trait. I guess that's something. In time, except for the fucking curse. The tragic extent of my failings. Ah, uh, speaking of, Bobber is thirsting. Devo has controlled the urges of their crimson curse. Four. Now. And Pit Enjoyer is at least now a vet himself. Okay. Oof. Well. <sighs> Hi. I know I look frazzled because that was a bit of a rough one, but it's mostly because I washed and shampooed my hair today, so minimal natural oils are in it at the moment. But yeah, also a little, a little frazzled. Considering that was a bit of a... I suppose we'll call it a half step back. Unless the darkest dungeon missions work in the same way that the uh, Crimson Court epic missions work, where like you start back from the last point you were at. I don't think they were. I don't think they do, but one can one can dream at least. Yeah, dream the impossible dream and all that stuff. So, yeah. I mean, on the plus side, we at least got to bring our Vestal back. And on the also plus side, she can go back into the, the Darkest Dungeon TM. So there is that. We at least can still bring a healer along on that mission, which was the big, the big nail biter like if we can't finish the mission then what are we going to do about that so hmm yeah gonna have to think i might the man at arms might be useful to bring for that particular mission because what i'm thinking is since you it only gives you three of the the flame talismans then when you hit that nasty scorpion abomination what you do is you give one of the flame talismans to the man at arms and then whoever you don't give the talisman to you just have him always guard them like just always protect the non-talisman person but we'll see i will i will come back i might do some grinding off camera to get pit enjoyer and company and crew back to or up to legend status so they can join in on the fun 
The fun. Yes, the fun. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, not nothing. Yeah, yeah, kind of a stalemate this one. But hey, we got to see more of the, more of the darkest dungeon, and we'll see if any progress was saved. I don't think it was, but at least we know more about it, and we at least know why we need those talismans. And we did get most of our lost trinkets back, if not all of them. I might have, yeah, I might have to go back to the footage and check, but I think we got all of them back. It's just annoying that they, like, already gave back the the talisman, because, like, the boss trinkets, they can't be lost forever. So that got me really hyped. It's like, do I have six now? That would be amazing. Then I could cover everybody, but no. <laughs> just, like, a weird, just, like, an oversight for, I guess they didn't really expect you to go to the Shrieker immediately so they didn't program out the possibility of getting the trinket or getting the flame talismans. I don't know. I'm not involved at all with Red Hook Studios, so don't know. Oh. Definitely going to need some de-stressing tomorrow, so luckily I've got that covered with a little bit more of a short hike. I don't know how long the game is, but it feels like I'm at a point now where I could end the game at any point. So at this point, it's just sort of like just checking out more of the island, seeing if there's any more side quests to do uh, before climbing up to the top of that Ding Dang Mountain. But we'll see. It It is a very, very fun, relaxing game so far. It definitely scratches a particular... Explore, exploration itch that uh, Breath of the Wild also scratched uh, and it's you know it's just chill because there's no combat so it's just it's just good things and considering Bloodborne which is going to be all the way back to this upcoming Friday starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard we're going to start off by round two with Grandpa aka Martyr Logarius who is the first kind of, like, wall I've hit boss-wise in a bit. Like, probably since Vicar Amelia. So, really looking forward to getting back in there and just fucking giving him the business real hard. Like, just smacking him to next Tuesday. And throwing some calamari at him. Because I can do that now. And then, of course, we'll be back here next Saturday... 6 p.m. your normally scheduled stressing time with some more Darkest Dungeon. Oh, at some point, we'll probably go back in and try that accursed do the three things mission again. I hate those kind of missions for a specific reason, because they suck <laughs> and I hate them, and I always seem to do worse, the worst on them, especially on the first try. But yeah, at some point, we'll tackle that again. We'll make some progress. I fucking hope. Uh, other than that, thank you all for joining me. Always appreciate the company. Um, yeah, I don't got any, anything more for you other than, you know, the, the Twitter. If you want to see all that schedule information I talked about, I always post a nice, lovely graphic on the Wednesday on the Twitter at the third or the Thursday at the latest. So you can always check that out over on the Twitter at Gola from Below Ah without the H to stay up to date with that and just see what other stuff I occasionally decide to tweet something because yeah tweeting, tweeting stuff just always feels like such a worthless endeavor unless it's like unless it's like something specific like informational wise other than that opinions you come here for my opinions and I have a better and I can express those opinions in more than 150 characters. So, you know, nuance. The thing that is deftly, not, or deftly avoided on Twitter. There, actually made that adjective work. Whew. So, yeah. Let me grab the old stupid ding. So, thank you all for joining me. Despite the 
the Elgato technical hiccup at the beginning. Do appreciate it. Some old friends, some some of you, some of you regulars, do appreciate your company as always. And I swear, someday if I make it to affiliate, I'll have some sweet sassy emojis ready to go for you cuz I think you do get at least a couple a couple channel specific ones or emotes, not emojis, different thing. Yeah, I believe you do get two channel specific emotes just for following, so I will definitely have you covered on that. So don't have to spend any money on me unless you really, really want to, which even then I'm like, hmm. I mean, if, if it's your money and you can swing it, but I would highly recommend you spend it on, on uh, like, if you're gonna only spend your money on Twitch streamers, like, Twitch streamers of color, uh, women streamers, trans streamers, like people who actually do this as part of their their income. Like you should definitely be spending your money them on them before spending your money on me for fucking sure. Like I'll I'll, I'll put it this way: if you if I do get to affiliate at some point. I'm going to request that anybody subscribe to me who subscribes to me subscribe to three uh, three either a black streamer streamer of color a trans streamer or a woman streamer and that's trans and cis women so yeah and of course the more you can intersect with those the better but really it if you just want to do one of each, that's cool. Like, there's... Like, off the top of my head, some of the ones I've subscribed to, like, Pleasantly Twisted is great, because she's also, like, does uh, the occasional, like, Bloodborne, uh, like, special runs. Like, the last time she played Bloodborne, she was practicing no-hit runs on the bosses. So, great for both just seeing someone a lot more skilled than me at that game uh but also like good tactical wise because like you don't need to be doing a no hit run to to get some pretty cool strats from that so i would definitely recommend pleasantly twisted um i'd also recommend uh, my friend up in the great white north uh alex sappy another another black streamer um and pretty chill pretty chill dude all all said and done and for my third recommendation, uh, it's a toss up. I would probably lean more on Sophie from Mars because uh, they, she is a, a great leftist source. Um, also, I feel like her, like you giving her your money would help her out more than the other one. Uh, but she has been, she has been out of country, so she hasn't been doing a lot of streaming, so I can totally understand, like, why you wouldn't want to do that, because, you know, what, what's the point of supply being? What part's the point of supply being is getting those sick emotes and, you know, using them in the chat. Although you can use them in any chats, really. Uh, so it's a split between either her or Super Butter Buns, who really doesn't need my help, but she's... She's a lesbian lady. Really fucking funny, in my opinion. Also does the, uh... Stop, stop, stop that. Stop applauding. I didn't mean to hit that button. Also does the soundboard shenanigans, so if you like, or at least tolerate it on my end, you're probably gonna like it on her end, because she's a lot better than me. <laughs> and has different things on her soundboard, so you get to hear different goofy noises. And, oh, yeah, also just, you know... Fuck, a pretty fucking funny streamer. She also does like stuff on YouTube. Like she has a bunch of uh, video tutorial tips videos uh, for on the for called for beginners, like game for beginners. Just you know, fill in game with like Bloodborne or not Bloodborne, but fill in like uh, Persona Five or Breath of the Wild stuff like that. So yeah, if you're looking for another like like funny weird. Uh, JRPG nerd, she's pretty great. And she has a 
there are a lot a lot of good streamers around her as well who are also queer or femme or whatever. So those are my recommendations. Um, Pleasantly Twisted, Alex Sappy, and that's Twisted is like T W Z D, I believe, but Pleasantly is spelled out. So yeah, Alex Sappy, all one word. Oh yeah, both of those are all one word. Uh, Sophie from Mars is Sophie underscore F R M underscore Mars, like M A R S. And finally, Super Butter Buns, which you should be able to find her, no problem. She's pretty big. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that that will that's my that's my request. A request from me to you. Like, if the day ever comes that I make it to affiliate. I shouldn't say ever say when, because it feels like it's only a matter of time at this point, but I don't know. It might be it might be a while away, because that last requirement is a doozy. But yeah, enough of me, Hemin and Han. Don't take pity on me. I have a full-time job. I do this as a hobby, so it is absolutely whatever. It's just a nice thing that might happen, but it by all means don't need to happen. If I get through my entire backlog and never get affiliate, then I, I'll have fulfilled my duty. And then, I don't know, can depart to the stars or something? I'll have to figure that part out later. Anyway, thank you for joining me on a topsy-turvy blood... Bloodborne. On a topsy-turvy darkest dungeon adventure. See you on the next one, for sure. And of course, take care of yourselves out there. I certainly will be. Let me just make sure I'm all set up to do the Dunzo. And yeah, bye bye <laughs>